Hey guys, it's your girl D. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry I'm starting the vlog looking like this. I just washed my hair, but we got an exciting weekend. I'm going to my first hair show in like two years. This is actually my second hair show ever. And we'll bring y'all along and hopefully have a very good weekend. So pretty excited. It's eight o'clock right now and the hair show's an hour from me. So I still gotta get ready and drive. So I was planning on leaving early, but I was like, nah, I need my sleep. <laughs> so. What's up? Okay, so we're on the way. I just ate this apple. I was gonna show y'all my outfit, but I don't have my shoes or my little top thing on yet, so I was gonna wait to show y'all that. Makeup is done, hair is done on my hair. Okay, hold on, I need to throw this apple out and then I can talk. If you throw an apple, like if I throw this outside and it lands in the grass, is that considered littering? Because it's like, it's gonna decompose. It's gonna naturally go into the dirt. It's gonna make an apple tree, maybe. You know, like I don't, like somebody told me they're like oh you can't do that because it's littering and i'm like that's not that's like beneficial for the dirt isn't it i don't know somebody tell me um and then my hair i just clipped it here and here that way the top of it wasn't curly and the bottom of it is curly so that way once it dries i'm gonna take the clips out and right here will be straight and it'll look super cute because i mean i'll show y'all but it'll look cute because my curls will still be here but like on the top i'll have big curls like y'all will see what i'm talking about when i take it down we're gonna buy a bunch of stuff we'll see how much i spend um but like shopping wise let me think what i need okay so i just got a blow dryer so i'm good on that thankfully because i needed one i also ordered a long barreled curling iron and that one I have not got yet and I have not paid for it either so I'm thinking if there's some here I'm gonna get one from here instead and then capes probably I want some capes I want what else do I want probably like skincare I know what else it's cuz like I don't really need anything you know but it's like once I get there and I see everything like you cannot go wrong with getting stuff because you know you're gonna use it like for example I have 50 combs right but if there are combs i'm probably gonna buy some combs but yeah that's pretty much it i don't know what the plan is yet i need to look over the classes again so that way i can see i skimmed through them last night just so that i could have an idea and there are some color classes some updo classes i want to do i probably want to do a bar work class too um just to see the new like any fake techniques or anything like that so there's a main stage that has stuff going on and then there's classes and the classes are usually okay like i've only been to one hair show so it might be different but the classes were in like separate little rooms and the big main stage had like shows and stuff like that and educators from those brands would teach the first hair show that i went to i saw guy tang perform he had his his color had a class and it didn't even say that he was going to show up honestly so whenever he showed up the crowd went crazy it was the best thing ever like fresh out of cosmetology school like little young d in the crowd i was like fangirling so hard so i'm gonna look at the main the main stage ones so i'm gonna see which ones i want to do from which ones i want to see from those and then i'm gonna look at the other ones and see like what classes i want to attend and yeah it's gonna be a good time i'm excited it's gonna be a good weekend um you girls running on like four hours of sleep but it's okay I'm almost there um, I'm like five minutes away but I saw this little like Mexican restaurant the last hair show that I went to they had just burgers and hot dogs and so I would rather have a breakfast burrito from a Mexican restaurant of course so I'm turning around um, so I'm gonna get a, a burrito and then we're almost there so we made it this burrito was huge. I'm gonna eat it real quick before I get in. Even though I'm not that hungry, I'm still, I'm gonna get hungry, I know. I'm gonna check what class I wanna attend, so I'm gonna see if there's any 11 a.m. or noon classes that I wanna attend. If so, I'm gonna go to those, and then, you know, we'll just kinda go from there. They only give me one napkin. And I don't think I have any. Oh, I do. Okay. Always carry extra napkins in your car because you never know when you're gonna need it. Cheers. 
that bite was all eggs. <laughs> I'm like, where's the chorizo? The beans, the cheese, like, where's everything else at? So when I got to the hair show, I saw this super, super long line and I was wondering, I was like, what is this line for, right? So I asked a girl, she said it was the cheaper section and I was like, oh my goodness, I had totally forgotten that they do that. They do like a, like everything in there is like half off regular price and so i waited in that line forever got some stuff and they came out and look how cute amika is amika does such such a good job with their packaging and their colors i just love everything about amika honestly i wish i would have gotten their bag and then here's me getting some olaplex this girl literally dropped my box look right here y'all can see but it's fine i got a different one i have so many bags of, of stuff with me right now To be honest with you, if you change the elevation and how short you go, it can be something very permanent. If you talk about wolf cup, that's like a, a longer version of a mullet. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. And if you go a little longer, then that's a shack. So it all goes together. She got her, her own hair. She showed me a picture, right? And she had like long hair like that, brown. She came home with a leash and a shot. I mean, a mullet. <laughs> so these are all the large roller. We also make a set that has 35. With these solid principles, everything that we're building in this program today, like you don't have to do all that hard work. First point of contact is really important. So everyone with me, wind it up. Is that scary? Up and just pull up the side. And you can blend in. This is where I like to get a new brush when they become a little bit too saturated. Keep it nice and neat, right? So we have full saturation. I personally love to do my low lighting. Uh, free So far, so far good weekend and my hair is crazy because it was windy outside. I went to some good classes, I met these girls at one of the classes and then I, and then they left, you know, and then I, you know, went my way, they went their way and then at the very end I was leaving because, um, like I'm about to leave, right? The hair show was over, I was about to leave and as I was leaving the hotel, I heard them yell and I look over and she was like, hey, and so I went over to them and she was like, you want, a, you want a drink? And they had ordered like, I don't know how many mimosas they had, but she gave me a mimosa and I was like, yes, please, like, yes. And then we talked for a little bit and we like, we chilled and it was just a, such a good experience. I just love it. I just love doing hair so much. Like I, I literally wish that my life could be like this good all the time, you know? Like, like, I don't know. I just feel like my life is so good right now. Like I'm in a very happy place with my life and with my job and with the people around me and I don't know I'm just very blessed and very thankful and I don't know if it's the mimosa talking or me talking but you know it's like it's good I'm I'm very happy um but right now I'm going to my hotel room because Nick actually came um so I don't know what happened with my girls right like I was gonna like have the option to room with three different girls and for some reason none of them are here <laughs> so that's fine though I don't mind but I told Nick I was like well if they don't come um, are you done to come and you know we can go out out to eat we can chill you know do whatever and I bought oh my goodness y'all I bought so much stuff stuff that I did not I I say I don't need but like it's not that I don't need it it's like I don't need it now but like I'm gonna need it you know that's the thing my hair right now though bro sorry <laughs> That's cute. Shelly, you like that? Oh my god. I'm gonna put that behind my ear. It holds it, but then it still got a little bit of curl. You know? Let me show the fit. My legs are on fire, no big deal. <laughs> Not my legs, just my just my feet. What's going down? 
Okay, so this is the next morning. So I went to sleep, had a good night's sleep, woke up. The first thing I did was look at the classes I wanted to attend because since the day before I had stood in that line forever for like the cheaper stuff, I didn't attend as much classes as I wanted to. So I'm just going through and writing down all of the classes that I think I might want to take just because there's different times for like certain classes too. So they'll have like two of the same class, but two different times. So I'm just going in and writing down and then I'm circling which ones I want to take so that way I'm like trying to be organized with it because there are so many classes and it's hard to go to them all so then here I'm putting the ones that I decided on on my phone that way I have them and I have like the room number and what time and everything and I can just like look at this schedule and just like go by it because I don't know my life is just, it's just easier you know to organize it and to like have it already like that so that's what I did in the morning today's fit day two I was gonna wear comfy clothes because I could not be in heels again so we got my sneakers, my jeans, a little black shirt, this sweater is super cute, got my jewelry, hair, makeup, I wasn't even going to do a full face and then I did, but you girl, we got to hurry because um, I still got to get breakfast. Let's go. Okay, I just got done with the hair show. I'm in my car. I gotta show y'all this hat I got though because it's so cute. Hold on, hold up. And it's black, y'all know I'm with black. Oh my goodness, how rude. Hold on, hold on. It's because my tripod is tiny, but like my car is like slanted, so. Hold on, hold on. I know it doesn't look cute right now, but let me show y'all. Isn't that so cute? And I love the colors of it, like. So yeah, okay. Um, but let me think, what is the plan for the rest of the day? I mean, the hair show's over. I got some good products. I shopped a little bit more today. So I got a few more things, but not much because I spent all my money yesterday. But I did get a, a little bit more things. So now I'm probably just gonna find something to eat, go eat, and go home. Today, pretty much all I did was classes. Like, yesterday I did more of my shopping, and today I went to, like, I don't know, four or five classes. One of them, the last one I did was in Spanish, so that was cool. And the other ones were pretty much balayage classes, haircutting classes. One of the ladies did do, like, a style updo, and I thought that class was going to be a haircutting class. But she ended up doing, like, extensions in the back, doing an updo in the front. And it was ethnic hair, too, so that was cool. So I was, I was glad I was in that one. And then what was the other one that I did? Oh, you know what? So my friends were telling me that I missed a really good class yesterday, a barber class. Because I went this morning to take a barber class. That's the one that I was rushing to get to this morning at 9.30. So I got there late. But when I got into the class, they weren't even talking about really, like, I wanted a class that had, like, more fade techniques, like, razor cuts. You know, like, I wanted, like, that true barber class, you know, like, advanced barber class. And they were talking about facials and, um, like, the hot towels and stuff like that. And, I mean, me personally, I don't do facials. But the lady that was talking was, like... Like, all she does is, not all she does, but she 
specializes in men's grooming so it was a class more for like like she had like a bronze package a silver package a gold package and in each package it was like a different facial or a different cleanser or you know something like obviously the the gold one was like the more advanced and the silver was the bronze was not as much you know um so it was just like i only stayed f well i mean i got there late and then i just stayed for like 20 minutes like listened to them for a little bit and then left so that's the one class that i was like mm, like i didn't take a really good barber class and so i missed that one yesterday and the guy that taught the class i actually know him he's from fort worth and i'm like i'm like i'm kind of sad because if i would have known i would have definitely went you know but anyways, it was a good show. We're going to find what to eat and call it a day. Let's see what I want. So what did I have yesterday? Nick and I went to walk-ons. I got this like fish. It was fish and it had corn and rice and a little bread. It was really good actually. Like that is probably going to be it for this video. So hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me to spend money to go to classes to do hair dresser stuff so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed um if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully i'll see y'all in another video i'm going to this place called sauced i tried to order my pizza online and for some reason i didn't work and i tried to call them their phone doesn't work so now i gotta go because i was thinking i was like i'll order it online drive there by the time i get there it'll be ready but nope i'm gonna have to go now order it and then wait but it's fine. Turn right onto North Main Street, then turn, turn right. right. Oh, I see it. The destination is on your right, Sauced. Hell yeah, right. we're here. <laughs> that was not far at all. Okay, I gotta show y'all the pizza because... Ooh, okay, okay. That looks good. Ooh, I got it to go, right? Because I was just like, oh, I'll just drive and eat. But I kind of want to sit down and eat. But I'm like outside, so I don't know. Okay, we're gonna try it in here because I want to try it and I'm like thinking about it and I also got they have a, a sauce That's like spicy honey or something like that. I don't know apparently like online it, the reviews all said it was really good It's like honey honey. Y'all see how like thick it is. Well, I like honey and I like spicy so we about to find out Hmm Okay, I tasted it the first bite I was like hold up, but okay, but I like that good option. I was like What am I gonna eat? Like, what am I in the mood for? Because I be letting other people decide where I'm gonna eat. So when I have to decide, I'm like, oh my goodness. I just don't like all that pressure on me. Like, like I gotta decide, like, you decide. Oh, that's good. And it's actually hot, like I'm starting to sweat. It is really hot in my car though, because all black, literally everything is black. Okay, <laughs> let's put this hair up. It's been down for two days. Oh my goodness, let me turn the hair up. Actually, I'm like hot, hot. I don't know if it was the pizza. Maybe because I opened the pizza box and now like the, the heat is coming off of it or something. I don't know, but I'm like hot, hot now. Okay. It's much better. Okay, well, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna eat and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see y'all in another video. Bye.